Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life, the only YouTube channel dedicated to the Aldi Camaro. And today's video is completely dedicated to the Aldi Camaro. So we're doing a two year on review. I've had my AK for two years. It is a three year old model. And I'm gonna go through any little pitfalls that I've had while I've had it for this length of time and just how versatile and uh, wonderful this particular barbecue is. So as I say, I've had my um, Aldi Camaro for two years. I picked it up second hand in the January uh, of 2020. And it was bought by the previous owner in uh, the spring of 2019. So it is a three year old model. It was used by him and then it's been more heavily used by myself. Um, I'm massively impressed with it straight from the off. Um, there's a few little bits that are starting to go home on there. But the uh, brilliant thing about it is that it comes with a three year warranty and the manufacturer are really, really good um, with upholding any warranty claims on this particular cooker. So the first thing we need to talk about is sizes. So mine being a 2019 model is the last um, size of the slightly smaller Audi Camaro, the 2020, 2021, and we're assuming this year, the 2022, they're all slightly bigger um, but we're not talking a massive amount so we're going to have to refer to my notes to get the sizes because i can't remember them in my head so the sizes of last year the overall diameter the outside diameter of the ceramic was 51 centimeters with an internal of 44.7 so this allowed you to have um, a 20 inch divide and conquer in there where anything that is 2019 and older you can only fit an 18 inch divide and conquer but we're going to have a standalone video um, discussing more about accessories coming out on Tuesday so we're going to delve into that a little bit more then and um, the grill grate on both barbecues is exactly the same size so that is 40 centimeters of grill grate space in both in all of the years right from when they first started putting them out right up until last year so i can't guarantee the size of the 2022 but looking at the last two years then um well, i think we've just gone slightly bigger um compared to what the 2019 18 and 17 models were so this is a really versatile barbecue do anything from low and slow right up to hot and fast so you can do things for eight, 10 hour cooks at a nice low temperature, things like pulled pork and briskets, right up to searing hot temperatures for pizzas and smash burgers and everything in between. It's a really versatile smoky little oven. I'll leave a description, a, a link in the description below for all of the cooks I've done on this cooker over the past two years. And you'll be amazed at just how versatile it is. It comes at a fantastic price point of 400 pounds. So this is considerably cheaper than your bigger brands. Your Nets Kamado up that is around this size, you're talking about £650. So it enables you to buy this particular um, Kamado and get some accessories and you're still coming up cheaper than what these other brands are. So the accessories that I really like on here is a steel plate for cooking things like smash burgers on. So it wouldn't matter what um, brand you bought from um, like, the, like the bigger brands, none of them come with a steel plate for doing um, smash burgers, whether that be cast iron or a steel plate itself. You're gonna have to buy that as a separate accessory. Things like Divide and Conquers, there are um, aftermarket ones available, depending on what year you've got, it depends on whether you want an 18 inch Divide and Conquer or whether you want a 20 inch Divide and Conquer. But I say I'll cover that in the accessories video next week. So yeah, it's just really, really versatile. There's so much you can do with it. Make sure you check out that playlist. And as I say, I think you'll be completely blown away by just how good this barbecue is. So if you made it this far into the video and you are really interested in picking up an Audi Camado, or maybe you've already picked up an Audi Camado, then I would thoroughly suggest that you subscribe to this channel because there's lots of information on here. We've got several um, different informational videos and standalone accessory videos. And currently there's 52 different videos um, on the Audi Camado on the channel and it's only going to get bigger over this next year i'm hoping to have a really monster year putting out content for all you guys so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of these future videos so i've sung all the praises about this barbecue now there are a few little niggly bits 
um, like there is on anything that you buy. So the first thing is the uh, bottom vent. When you remove the ash, um, it sits in the little groove of the, the ash door at the bottom, your bottom vent, so that when you close it back up, you do get a bit of ash come out of there. So you've got to remember to still keep your ash pan under there and open and close the door just a few times just to knock the ash out of there. And it was a little pet peeve of mine when I first bought it, but I've got used to that now. And it's just, I'll make sure that I open and close that vent every time once I've taken the ash out of the bottom. Another little niggle, and this can completely depend on whether you get a loose fitting one or a tight fitting one because I've brought this up in previous videos and people have said, well, mine's not like that. But my personal one is, so I wanna make sure that I um, tell people about it. And that is the top vent. So the top vent's like a daisy wheel that moves around and then it can completely hinge open to give you an open hole at the top for getting really hot temperatures or for just for when you're starting the Kamado up at the beginning to get maximum airflow. So if I'm cooking things like pizzas and I have that kind of half open, when I open and close the dome, it moves every time because it's not tight. So I have to remember to put it back in the position that it was. So that again, is just a little pet peeve, but for the amount of money that you can be saving on this barbecue, it's nothing really. So my third thing uh, that's not really a pet peeve, it's wear and tear. As I say, this is a three year old model and I've everything on here is brand new. I've not had to replace anything. So the ceramic um, deflection plate that comes with it is the original one in that box. I've not had to do a warranty claim on there. I've never had to do a warranty claim on the fire bowl, providing you make sure that you are starting this up nice and slowly so that you don't shock the ceramic. You don't want to be going in here with a chimney full of um, screaming hot charcoal you want to be starting things off with um, some fire lighters in the middle and bring the temperatures up slowly then there's no reason that you are going to be cracking any of your ceramics providing say you bring it up to temperature slowly and you don't get anything wet because if you get the ceramic wet the moisture gets in there and then when you steam heat it up the steam comes out and it cracks your ceramic so the only warranty claim that i have had to put in that i've still not actually fitted yet but i've got the product is the gasket and as you can see here it's just starting to wear out around the outside and that's because it's had heavy heavy use over the last three years uh, but to say the the manufacturer itself that you can contact is in in your warranty claim in the back of the, your owner's manual is how to do a warranty claim. And I just contacted them and I said, oh, I haven't even got a receipt because my second hand, um, I said what the age of it was and that I needed a new felt gasket. And they said, yeah, no problem. And they sent it straight out. I had it within two days. And as I say, I'll be doing a video on that later on in the year on how to fit that gasket. So if you do have one that's a couple of years older, you know how to do it. Or if you're buying a new one this year, then you're gonna know how to do it in the future. So I just want to kind of round the video off and talk about how economic this particular uh, barbecue is. So because it's made of thick ceramic, the, the heat is absorbed by that ceramic and then that can radiate that back into whatever you're cooking. So it's a different style of cooking to things like on a Weber kettle where you've only got a thin metal and you need your charcoal to be constantly going so that you're going to have an even heat. Because if you was to just shut your vents down on a, a Weber kettle, it doesn't take very long for the temperature to drop because it can escape out of that metal rather quickly. On a ceramic egg, and they're all the same, the heat retention is fantastic because it absorbs that heat into there and it can radiate it back in. So you use much less charcoal. I've been able to fill the charcoal basket up in this particular cooker, do an 18 hour cook, and then come back out then it's molding and there is still charcoal left. If you was doing that on a standard kettle, then you're gonna to need to be out there all the time, every maybe five, four or five hours, topping up your charcoal so that you're not gonna run out of um, heat in your barbecue. So I hope you found this video interesting and I hope that it has helped you um, with any questions that you might have on whether to buy the Audi Kamado. I've got no way affiliated with Audi. It's just that I'm the only person on YouTube that is using this particular cooker. So th there's no affiliation there. I don't get any money from Audi for any that you buy. It's just me giving the love from myself to yourself so that you've got the information. Because when I bought 
the Komodo, there was no information out there. I couldn't find anything um, to answer any of my questions. So my goal is to be able to answer all of your questions across this channel. So if you do like what we're doing, please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Leave me a comment underneath. Let me know if you're buying one, if you can't get hold of one or any other problems that you might have, and I will do the best that I can. Thank you very much for watching.